Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going over my top five cryptocurrency to buy right now and hold forever. As the cryptocurrency market has been bouncing back right now and on the uptrend, I feel like there is still plenty of room for additional upside and we will start seeing some huge moves from these coins within the next five to 10 years. So please let me know if there is a coin that you think should be included on this list or if there is a coin that you want me to discuss in the comments below. And by watching this video to the very end, you'll get a full understanding of what you should be looking out for right now and I'll go through what these five crypto coins are that I am bullish on and go through the numbers, recent news, how to create passive income from them and predictions for the future. And please make sure to smash the like button and a large portion of my viewers are not currently subscribed so if you do end up enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe, it's free and you can always change your mind later. It does help out the channel a lot tremendously and it will mean the world to me. So the first coin on the list that I plan on holding long term is going to be Ethereum. What's Ethereum? Ethereum differs from Bitcoin that it is not only just a digital currency, it's also a network that lets developers use the Ethereum network to build their own applications. While Ethereum is far beyond Bitcoin in terms of value and market cap, it's also considerably ahead of the rest of the altcoin market. Despite the fact that it was released years after several other cryptocurrencies, it has significantly outperformed its market position due to its unique technology. Ethereum also has partnerships with multiple Fortune 500 companies, including Intel, Microsoft, JP Morgan, BP, and Thomson Routers, and all of which have plans to adopt Ethereum technology into their business. As by 2021, the EEA, or Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, will have reached 500 members which according to its website, the EEA is a member-led industry organization whose objective is to drive the use of Ethereum blockchain technology to empower all companies. Also, with the launch of the EIP-1559, a new feature of burning coins took place removing coins from the circulation once new ones were issued, which completely stopped the increase in supply of Ethereum without establishing a supply cap. And this in turn can have a big influence on the price Long term, as the supply of Ether will be limited by burning coins, which could cause scarcity, therefore increasing the price. And the up and coming Ethereum 2.0 will see the network move from a proof of work to a proof of stake model. And it's also going to enable the network to grow from 30 transactions per second to up to 100,000 transactions per second by using short chains. And according to many analysts out there, Ethereum will be valued up to $100,000 by 2025. According to Brian Chester, the founder of our capital, not to mention predictions from people like Rob Paul, who predict that Ethereum will reach $20,000. And of course, that number is also contingent on Ethereum's roadmap coming to fruition. As a platform upgrade, it brings important enhancements to the network in terms of speed, scaling, security, among other things. And you can also earn passive income by staking your Ethereum. Now I have recently made a video on how to retire on Ethereum by 2025 by staking your ETH, so be sure to check that out. But the whole point is to own enough Ether to sustain your lifestyle. As of now, you can earn up to 5% interest on your Ethereum if you decide to stake it. So it's a great way to earn passive income and I don't believe Ethereum will be going anywhere anytime soon. Next up on the list, we have Cardano. And for various reasons, the Cardano network has a smaller footprint which appeals to investors Cardano requires less energy to process a transaction than a bigger network like Bitcoin, and as a result, transactions are both quicker and less expensive. It asserts that it is more flexible and secure to keep ahead of hackers. Cardano is constantly improving its development. Cardano also has some really ambitious goals as they plan to give financial services to the unbanked population of the world. People that have no access to banks, and there is currently an estimated 1.7 billion people without banking services as of now, which is a lot of people and it gives you an idea of the market size Cordano is trying to target. Now Cordano is also working on initiatives in Africa and other regions of the world. Cordano's third purpose is to aid the stabilization of the decentralized application industry. The platform focuses on the centralized applications, systems, and societies with a particular emphasis on security and sustainability. And Cardano's blockchain may be used to certify pharmaceutical items, reducing the danger of purchasing counterfeit drugs. The Cardano blockchain can also be used as a record of people's identities and to establish their credit worthiness in underdeveloped nations. And for farmers, 
in merchants, blockchain technology can enable accurate supply chain tracking, but investing in Cardano also comes with some risks. And a major risk factor is that Cardano may not be able to compete with larger cryptocurrencies, even with a stronger network. Fewer developers means fewer adopters. And most investors want to see a high adoption rate Therefore, that might be a negative side to investing into this cryptocurrency. But in my opinion, Cardano has been fundamentally strong so far with a strong management team and a strong founder with a strong community. And one of the reasons as to why I plan on holding Cardano long term is that they are still at the very early stages of their development as smart contracts. It's just around the corner. And there are a variety of opinions on how much Cardano will be valued in the future Every crypto price forecast points to a good year given the present condition of the market, which has seen an extraordinary growth in the value of all cryptocurrencies, which are all led by Bitcoin. And if the crypto market bull run continues, there's little question that the price of ADA will climb as well. And the majority of crypto specialists predict that ADA will hit $5 by the end of the year going towards 2022. And on the longer time horizon, we could see Cardano's ADA currency to reach $10 by 2025. And beyond that, well, only time will tell as we start to adopt cryptocurrency and digital money becomes the norm in some nations. And we can't forget that if you're looking to stake and be a true hodler, then also consider staking your ADA. By holding and staking your ADA, you will help the network with validating blocks on the protocol and receive rewards on your investment just for holding at an annual rate of 5%. And there are currently two ways that you can stake your ADA by delegating to a staking pool or running your own staking pool. Delegating is currently supported by the Daedalus wallet and also Joroi wallet, which is a browser-based wallet. And those are the wallets that are recommended by Cardano. Also, don't forget that you're going to notice a lot of crypto scammers in the comment section. And YouTube has decided until this day to not do anything about these scammers. So please remember that the real me will have their name highlighted and will never ask for you to send me an email or a text message. So please just be careful out there. Now, number three on the list is going to be VeChain. Now, VeChain was created in order to combat counterfeiting. And according to Decrypt, each product is assigned a unique identity and sensors follow its journey through each stage of the supply chain. Companies may use this technology to guarantee that their items are handled appropriately and buyers can verify that their purchases are genuine. The data can't be modified since VeChain employs blockchain technology, which is a big benefit for a lot of companies. And if something goes wrong in supply chain, for example, products are delivered to the wrong location, well then the blockchain records that and reveals what went wrong. Now, VeChain is a business focused on blockchain with applications in healthcare, logistics, automobiles, and even high-end fashion. Sonny Lee, the CEO of VeChain, was previously the CIO of Louis Vuitton China. And the VeChain network is home to the cryptocurrency VET. And the more VET an organization has, the higher its priority is when utilizing VeChain's resources. VeChain also utilizes the VTHO token to pay for the electricity and energy required to complete transactions. It's also worth mentioning that VeChain has already made so many partnerships with well-known brands like BMW and Walmart China. And I believe VeChain is well positioned to bring early investors well returns because of its popularity, technological soundness, real world applications, and continuous development. And if you're interested in VeChain, then you should know that you can earn passive income by staking your VET, make some extra cash. Staking entails keeping your VET in a network wallet that is online for a specified length of time. You get more money if you stake your VET for a longer period of time, and you can currently buy VET on both crypto.com and Binance and Atomic Wallet. And don't forget that there are currently two tokens on the network. VET is designed for investments and value exchanges. VET is also one of the cryptocurrencies that Coinbase does not support yet. But you can buy VET on Binance and buy VTHO on Crypto.com. You can also earn VTHOR tokens by staking your VeChain in its own wallet. Now for number four on the list, we have XRP. Now Ripple is the company that created XRP and is appealing to investors because it offers worldwide transactions, which sets it apart from other cryptocurrencies. International money transfers through a bank might take up to 10 business days, but the same transactions take seconds using Ripple's technology. Furthermore, Ripple has agreements with major banks all over the world, and the more contracts the Ripple cryptocurrency has, the more accessible it is to adopters. And let's not forget the huge fight that they're having with the SEC, but we can't deny that Ripple has world-changing technology that could be used all around the world. And you can currently 
buy XRP on KuCoin and Binance. Now, last on the list, we have Bitcoin. Bitcoin has the longest history of any cryptocurrency with a considerable greater price, market valuation and volume than any other investment choice mentioned on this list. It's simple to understand why it's the top. Despite the fact that there are thousands of different cryptocurrencies on the market, Bitcoin still accounts for 40% of the total market cap of the entire crypto market. Bitcoin is already accepted by a large number of businesses, making it a wise investment. And it's also accepted by Visa and Tesla CEO Elon Musk just invested 1.5 billion in the cryptocurrency not too long ago. In addition to that, major banks are beginning to include Bitcoin transactions in their services. Investing in Bitcoin comes with risks though, because its value is very volatile. And during any given month, the price might fluctuate by thousands of dollars, which is one of the reasons of why I plan on holding Bitcoin for the long term. So if you're worried about huge fluctuations in the price, then you might want to stay away from Bitcoin short term. Otherwise, these price movements should not worry too much as long as you remember that Bitcoin is a sound long-term investment. Another reason to think twice about investing in Bitcoin is its high cost. Most consumers can't afford to acquire a full coin because a single coin at the time of this video is currently worth around $46,000. And this is a huge disadvantage for investors who wish to avoid buying just a part of Bitcoin. But we also have Jack Dorsey's financial services startup Square saying that they plan on focusing on a decentralized financial service using Bitcoin. Not only that, but MasterCard has announced plans to overhaul its crypto card program, allowing traditional banks and crypto businesses to provide cards to their customers for digital asset transactions. And we also have JP Morgan, a major American investment firm, ramping up their blockchain hiring spree. And we also have Bitcoin being adopted by other nations with more Bitcoin ETFs coming and more Bitcoin access to both retail and institutional investors. I don't see Bitcoin going anywhere anytime soon. And you can currently stake Bitcoin on BlockFi, which by the way, if you sign up using my link down below, you can get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin just for signing up. So if you made it to the end of the video, then we have to remember that buying good investments and holding them for the long term is the key to making money in any sort of market. If they're truly solid investments, then they should appreciate in value over time and their prices should rise in the process. And with Bitcoin, the same logic applies. It doesn't matter if you buy when it's $50,000 or $20,000. If you believe cryptocurrencies have a bright future and will transform the world, then we should not care what the price is right now. And if Bitcoin one day reaches $500,000 or $1 million, well then we're all going to benefit the most. And if you're simply investing to make a quick buck, then you're gonna play a very risky game and you'll most likely lose more money than you make. Dollar cost averaging to decrease price volatility is another option. When you dollar cost average, you're putting a specific amount of money on a regular basis, such as $500 per month or $300 every month. And when prices are high, you may be tempted to buy. However, you will invest when prices are cheaper those highs and lows should average over time. And this can also help you with navigating the impact of market volatility on your investments. So then you should not have to worry about trying to time the market. So as always, I will always recommend that you guys do your own research and due diligence before investing. Just because a cryptocurrency or an investment was on the list does not mean that you should just go right now and put all your life savings into it. These are my opinions and you should create your own opinion using this video as a guide. So now let me know down in the comments below what cryptocurrency you are the most bullish on or if there's a coin in this list that I forgot to mention or that you believe should be included. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to pick up your two free stocks with Webull using the links down below as one could be valued up to $1,800 and don't forget that you can also get up to $500 worth of cryptocurrency using my links down below. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter and join the channel for more content and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.